Hello, my name is Crystal and I'm part of the Simply Wise team. In today's video, I'd like to walk you through the steps of using the search feature within a particular folder. In today's video, we're going to use the grocery folder as an example, and we will show you how to use the different filters within the search field within the folder. This is very helpful if you're looking for subtotals or running totals for um, for particular receipts within one folder instead of a large group of folders, okay? So to get started, on the header there, next to grocery and in between grocery and the to be saved folder, you'll see a small magnifying glass. That's your search. So let's go ahead and tap on that. Once you do that, it's gonna give you your search bar, which you can use that to search merchants, amounts, things of that nature. But what we would like to focus on is where it says tap to add filters, pull to refresh, okay? So go ahead and tap into that and it's going to give you a pop-up. This will allow you to select the filter fields that you want to use to search the receipts within this particular folder, okay? So let's say we want to find all receipts over, our, over $100. Tap into that first field, type in $100, and once you do that, you want to click, tap apply at the bottom and any receipt within this particular folder over $100 will populate on your list. You can use any amount that you need, uh, but this is a quick way to isolate particular receipts over a specific amount, okay? To remove this filter, tap on the X and it takes us back, tap back in and our pop-up menu shows back up. Let's say we want to look for a particular receipt with a specific amount. We know that there's a receipt in there, but we just can't quite put our finger on it, but we know how much it was. So we can use that as a filter to find that receipt. Type in your amount, tap the check mark, tap into the next field over, type in the same amount, tap the check mark. So both fields on left and right will reflect the same amount. Once that's input, tap apply, and the receipt that is, has that particular amount listed will populate there. Once you're done with that, you can remove that filter, tap back in, and you can use the other filters as well. Let's say we want to see all year to date. It will pre-populate the beginning date and the end date for you, or you can tap apply, and it will show you all the receipts that are in the folder for year to date. To remove, tap the X, and again, you can tap back in. So those are the filters that you would be able to use to search receipts, as well as get an idea of your running totals within one folder instead of having to run a report for a large majority of folders.